Well, first it was the jobless, the unemployed, millions of victims of identity thieves. But now scammers have a new target, this time the most innocent, children and babies. Families who depend on federally funded food programs to put food on the table are finding their link cards empty. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker discovers loopholes in a system that leaves children hungry. I had no idea that I was going to have to be struggling to try to put food on the table. After 13 years of marriage, Anna Salgado got divorced. He decided to just walk out. I was like $7,000 in debt with four kids. So she needed help and signed up for SNAP, a federal food program that pays for groceries. The money is loaded on her link card. The balance, $820. I, I need it. Yes, I definitely do need it. But in June, the one thing she needed, the main source of food for her children, suddenly disappeared. She was shopping at Costco. She'd gotten about $200 worth of groceries. But as I was about getting ready to pay, the guy's like, nope, there's nothing in here. It says zero dollars. I was just overwhelmed and just, I, I didn't know what to do. Someone has stolen Salgado's identity and cleaned out her link card. We're investigating a new kind of unemployment fraud. We saw the same thing happen to the unemployed during the pandemic. The state did nothing to stop unemployment fraud. ID thieves stole billions of dollars from millions of Americans who lost their jobs. It's okay. We now know the unemployed weren't the only targets. The heartless hackers are taking food out of the mouths of children. It's it's very hurtful. It's extremely hurtful. Just how many families like Salgado's are hurting in Illinois? That's a question for the state agency that distributes the benefits. So the CBS2 investigators sent a public records request seeking the number of SNAP fraud complaints. Request denied. Exempt from release. Instead, we got a link to a 2020 investigations report. Guess what? 56 pages. We read them all. It's mostly about merchants or recipients defrauding the government, but no report, not one, on families being victimized by scammers. Why does that matter? Just ask Eva Velasquez, CEO of the ID Theft Resource Center, a nonprofit that helps fraud victims. Identity crimes have these tentacles, so it doesn't just impact that one individual. When they lose, you lose. If that identity crime is being perpetrated by a fraud ring, then that's money that's leaving the U.S. economy, and it is gone. All the transactions are seconds apart. Remember, in Salgado's case, the fraudster stole everything on her card. And when she went to the DHS office, assuming the state would replace the money, she met this man. I was one caseworker out of several caseworkers. An insider who didn't want to be identified, but he gave us details the agency wouldn't. In my office, it, whenever the, 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 the fraud would happen, I would see maybe five to 10 victims within that day. There were many days, he says, when he'd have to explain to people like Salgado that she could get a new link card, but that $820? gone. Those funds that were taken out that were stolen from them are not going to be given back. It's a fact. The feds don't replace stolen SNAP benefits. They argue there's no way to prove the hacker didn't have permission to use the card. It's frustrating. It's extremely frustrating. One of the biggest cheerleaders willing to fight to get the government to replace stolen benefits yeah. is Illinois Representative Sonia Harper. You see, she feels their pain. I've been on SNAP before. Harper was a law student and a new mom with few options. I just found the experience, just standing in line for food stamps alone, um, to be very hard and challenging and disheartening. To know that there's not a process for when your benefits are stolen, that's, that's a pretty hard thing to, to deal with. Harper is looking at legislation that will help fraud victims. But Delgado, but they don't see the struggles that we have to. She still feels the loss. Put ourselves through and our kids, so they can have some food on the table. You know, it's just it's just so overwhelming. Dorothy Tucker, CBS Two Investigators. Yeah. Oh.
Well, Senator Dick Durbin told CBS2 in a statement he believes that SNAP recipients who lose money to a scammer should be made whole, and he's already reached out to the federal and state agencies that oversee that program to discuss ways to prevent fraud in the future. We will, of course, keep track of politicians' promises to protect your money, and you can read more about this story on our website, that, of course, CBSChicago.com.